Yo, what up guys and welcome to another Power World video. Today I was looking for another way to get Pin Kings other than fighting the boss over and over again. I pulled up the PAL deck and noticed that they had a habitat in the bottom right corner and it is this secret island. This place has all sorts of rare PALs. I think almost every one of them is a boss. I grabbed my flying mount, I hit a waypoint and decided to fly across the ocean to go see what this island's like. Now all these PALs are around level 20 so they're not too hard to deal with. Once you get flying, you can just get on out there or swim. So the first thing we found out there was this Elk Deer Terra. It's pretty sick. It's a ground-based version of the uh, Elk Deer. And it's pretty good at lumbering. It's a rideable pal, so you can definitely get one of Swift. So I thought that was pretty neat. I hadn't seen one before. The second pal that we run into is the Zorobe. This guy's Water Dragon. He's normally a boss. There's one in the middle of the map. He's got three watering, and again, you can ride this guy. He's got water and dragon attacks right off the bat. So the normal boss is level 17 and you can find it in this like lake in the middle just west of this red area. The next one is another one I haven't seen before, the Alpha Dragon. It looks like it's fire slash dragon, although the type that it has is only dragon and it's good at lumbering. I believe you'll be able to ride this one and it makes Dark Pals drop more items when defeated, which is pretty neat. Then we also found this Valette. It also does the same thing where it makes ground pals instead of dark pals, but it's really good at a bunch of different work suitability. So it's good at planning, handiwork, gathering, medicine production in three, and then it can also transport a little bit as well. Of course, the reason I was going out there was for the Pin King. I captured all 10 of them, and he's just good at so many different things, mining, cooling, watering, handiwork, and transportation. I just love throwing him in. He's level two at all of those things. So he's great to have in the base. The Grizzbolt, the last one that I had found over there, only found one, so I think it's a little more rare, but the spawn rate seemed pretty good for all the other stuff. It's really good at everything, generating electricity three, transporting three, lumbering and handiwork two, and this is the guy that you fight at the first boss. She's riding one of these. The minigun's unlocked at level 40. I don't know how powerful it is, but I'm assuming it's pretty good. This guy looks awesome. If you enjoyed that video, do me a big favor and press that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference and I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe.